I am testing open source speech recognition on my Android phone. The engine is not running locally on the phone itself, but it is on my server on my local network. which is not this computer but another one which is actually less powerful so this one could do it as well I have not managed to install the thing directly on the Android phone although that's supposedly possible My accent is pretty terrible, so I think if you have a native accent and a relatively clear pronunciation, you can fare better than this. The Docker image for compiling it for the Android operating system itself didn't work for me as I tried to download something that had been removed and became a 404. You see the recognition quality is degrading. I have to be kinda careful and watch what I'm saying and say it slowly but not too slowly. There are some possibilities for editing what I said afterwards. Like I can do this and delete the, the last word. Afterwards. But as you see it doesn't really get a lot better if you just say single words so are kind of forced to remove the entire sentence like this. You are kind of forced to remove the entire sentence like this. And I stumbled a bit uh, on sentence so it got something else. Uh, the, the rest is kind of okay. The, the rest is kinda, you know, uh, if I... okay, but yeah, not quite, and uh, you cannot talk like this. It is definitely not Google, and... Uh, it, it does, however, use a similar approach to speech recognition, which is not uh, the kind that uh, CMUs thinks uh, would use. Of course, CMUs thinks isn't something he had a clue about. It uses uh, a neural network based model, which is not a motel, but uh, I guess it has been trained with a lot of uh, neural network talk because it doesn't understand uh, when I talk about neural networks well not this time I am talking about neural networks and connections between uh, actions and uh, whatever and uh, I meant to say axons actually but whatever Uh, so that will be it. The Docker image isn't trivial to install. You have to kinda... well, the Docker image itself is trivial to install, but uh, you have to download the model separately. To dangle the models separately. Let's dangle our models. Nope. The model is a 1.4 gigabyte file although that's the model I'm using now, but uh, there are other available if you scavenge a bit. Mm. 
you see another way it's uh, conceptually similar to Google's recognition is that uh, it changes its guesses in real time as I speak and uh, even improves or sometimes makes them worse the guesses it's making by iterating through the neural network. I think ultimately it's not usable in a realistic way right now but it could be made usable with uh, changes that aren't uh, dramatic they are just uh, small adjustments to the interface in this Android part and to the model on the Kaldi part to repeat, Kernel is the Android app which can connect to Estonian and English speech recognition which is provided by Kaldi and in particular the glue between Kaldi and uh, this app is provided by a Kaldi GStreamer plugin and uh, as yet another page on uh, GitHub uh, there is a docker image for this Kaldi GStreamer thing which is the, ba the basic thing you have to install when you're doing this while you should while you should install the kernel app from their own github as it's also avail available on fdroid but i don't recommend recommend that as it's an old version it's an older portion yeah kind of sort but okay that will be enough with this uh, it's getting kind of crazy